Hello, and welcome back to part 6 of my Resident Evil 5 Let's Play. I'm at the beginning of chapter 2-2 right now. The train yard. Oh crap, I meant to get that to show. Um, I just realized that I did miss a BSA symbol that I, I remember now. Back in chapter 2-1 at the very end. Uh... If I remember, by the end of this Let's Play, I'll go back and record it and just kind of slap it on the end. Come on, Roger. Oh crap, that's one big puppy. Peta's not going to like this one. Oh crap. So anyways, what was I going to say now? Come on. Okay. You grab it. Okay. Hmm. I had something to say, but now I forget. Oh my god, more dogs. Um, well anyways, uh, since the last video I upgraded my shotgun damage a little bit more, my pistol damage a little bit more, um, I think my pistol capacity too, yeah I upgraded my pistol capacity as far as I can for now, uh, that's probably it. I hear these guys, where are they at? They must be. Oh, they, I guess it's someone. Yeah, on top of the train car here. Oh crap! There's another guy up here. I usually don't kill these guys till later, but I'm gonna try it a different way this time. I already killed that guy. There's also another BSA symbol in this train yard that I'm gonna show you guys since I take care of these people there we go okay it is right here in this little radio tower thing it's not really necessary to care to get these BSA symbols with the sniper but it does make things a little bit easier so if, if you're going symbol hunting, you might want to consider taking a rifle with you at all times. Um, right here there is a beetle. Yes, right here. There's usually some kind of ammo right here. It's not always the same, I believe, but I'm going to give that to Shova because she has the MP5. Boom headshot. I'm gonna use this up. Okay. And there's another beetle. Same kind that was down there right here. A little bit of gold down here. Oh yeah, also at the end of my last video, I, uh, I turned the game volume up back up to normal and, uh, didn't talk for the last cutscene. I might do that for a couple cutscenes, because... I originally had commentary over the cutscene, but it wasn't really uh, that great or important, so I just decided to uh, raise the volume of the cutscene and let you guys hear what's going on.
I may do that for some other cutscenes too if I feel they're important or I just have nothing to say at that point. So anyways, uh, a couple of my friends were playing Resident Evil 5 on the Xbox today. And uh, they were playing through Lost in Nightmares DLC on uh, Professional. And uh, my one friend told me a easter egg that I'm sure you guys are probably aware of, but I've never heard of it. Where you, when you start Lost in Nightmares, you can look at at the door and hit investigate or whatever and it says like I can't something like I can't leave the mansion until I finish my mission or whatever and uh, you inspect it three times and on the third time it uh, just has a question mark and you hit it and it takes you into the old school static camera angles from uh, the old Resident Evil's and I thought that was really neat for uh, Capcom to add that in, especially since that DLC, if you're not familiar with it, takes place in the mansion that Resident Evil 1 takes place in. So I, I thought that was pretty cool of them to do that. And I, I tried, I tried playing through, uh, the campaign, or not the campaign, but that DLC with that camera angle, and I got about quarter way through before I gave up on it because I just couldn't do it. I, I was doing so bad. But it, it is a really cool easter egg to mess around with. And some people do like it that way. Some I, I personally haven't played much of the old school Resident Evil so I wasn't really too comfortable with that kind of style. But I, th I thought that was really neat to pay a little homage to the old Resident Evil's. So anyways, uh, if you see flash grenades in this part, uh, do make sure to pick them up, because a lot of people think flash grenades just suck, you know, but they're perfect for times like this. You get your flash grenades out, and you hit these guys with it, and it destroys that in one hit. I apologize if these tips I'm giving you guys uh, in these let's plays are a little bit obvious or whatever. There's a BSA symbol actually right here too. I appear. Nah, can't talk right now. I apologize if these tips are a bit obvious, as one of my friends who watched my videos uh, pointed out today. But I figured I'd throw it in there because you know you never know. Some people may not know these things. I'm just, uh, it's not like I'm giving you the most obvious thing in the world, like left stick is to move or whatever. But I, th I think all the th things I'm saying are at least remotely interesting, in my opinion. If they're not, that'd be nice to know, so I stopped talking about stupid stuff. But, uh, I mean, I'm on part 6, and not many people have watched these so far yet. I don't know if that'll change in the future, but. Hopefully it does, because I enjoy making these, and I would also enjoy having people watch these videos that I'm putting a lot of time into. Not production-wise, because to edit them... Oh, snakes. Where did the snake go? Anyways, to edit them doesn't take long at all. I just throw them in Sony Vegas. I throw a brightness uh, touch-up on it, because they, they come out a little bit dark, so for some reason so I throw a little bit of a brightness touch up on a video and then I render it out and upload it to YouTube and uh... but you know actually playing it and and syncing up the commentary with the video and stuff you know it's not hard or anything but it takes time and I would like to have people enjoy this. So, I mean, if if you're watching this and you like it and you think you may know someone else that likes this, then please share it with them. I would appreciate it. Oh, crap.
I notice I... Oh my gosh, I can't talk now. I also noticed that I jumbled up my words a lot when I <laughs> do these commentaries, as you guys can see right now. Or I just walk around in circles for a second like I just did there while I'm trying to talk because I do these commentaries live and I, so I'm trying to like think about what I'm doing and, and commentate at the same time. And it gets a little bit confusing sometimes. So... Just a heads up. Alright, this is the big battle. Um, there are gonna be a lot of those... ...things where their heads pop up. I always forget what they're called, but... There's a flash grenade in there, usually, if not always in there, so that's a uh, helpful tip for you guys to know. But anyways, uh, back on topic about Lost in Nightmares, not only with that camera angle thing, but... Um... There's no, there's none of the DLCs that are on the PlayStation and the Xbox on the PC version, which is just upsetting, the lack of support for the PC version. And you may be just saying, why don't you just play on Xbox or whatever if, if you think that, that version is so much better. Well, I don't have a capture card for my Xbox. It makes it a lot easier to record on PC because you can just get any old game recording software like I use Fraps and that's the most co common one that people use and uh, I can just you know record any game with Fraps or on software and I don't have to worry about transferring any files to my computer or whatever it's it's really easy and I am primarily a, a PC gamer anyways so most of the time it's better for me. But yes, uh, if I did have a capture card for my Xbox, I would definitely be making some uh, DLC videos. Did I say DLC for my videos? I don't know. What am I saying? DL DLC videos. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. It's, uh, at the time of this recording, it's about 2.30 in the morning. I record all these late or early in the morning I should say because uh, you know everybody's asleep and it's summer I'm up late anyways and nobody bothers me so it's a good time for me to do these as I may or may not have said in an earlier video I start college next week today being uh, August 16th so I, I start the 22nd and uh, I won't be able to do these or early in the morning like this anymore so I don't, I don't know when I'm gonna get those in plus just in general I'll be probably I would imagine be crowded with work because I would imagine college and it's not gonna be like high school where I can just go to school, do work, and get everything done in school and come home and relax for the night. I wish it was that way, but from what I hear, that's not the case. Come on, Shubba. Trying to headshot him here.
Look how stupid she is, she's shooting me in the back constantly. Also, in uh, Resident Evil re related news, uh, they're supposed to be unveiling Resident Evil 6 at the Tokyo Game Show whenever that is. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's at the end of this month. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. I know they're also coming out with uh, Operation Raccoon City or whatever it's called, but to me, I'm for me... I'm not really ex too excited about that because I've seen gameplay videos of it and stuff and it just doesn't look too uh, interesting to me Resident Evil wise. I mean it looks like an okay game but not for Resident Evil game. joke? You're just like all the other pieces of scum terrorists. Oh, I'm not like them. I'm a businessman with standards. Drop the weapon. Or how about you drop yours? There must be something here he didn't want us to see. What is it? Look at this. The oiled field. That's in the marshlands. 